हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द कैट वीडियोस फ्रॉम करियर्स 360 इन टुडेस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मस्ट नोन कॉन्सेप्ट्स और द मस्ट नो कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री यू नो ज्योमेट्री आइदर यू हेट इट और यू लव इट either you can do everything in geometry or you can't do anything in geometry in fact let me tell you despite my 25 years of experience in training for cat and quant is one of the areas that i love i always used to feel very uh, jittery about solving geometry questions but unlike every other area geometry is one area if you know the formula and a little bit of a application of that formula little bit not even at the level of arithmetic i am saying algebra is bigger i think you can easily pick up 9 to 12 marks in the cat exam before i go into what are the concepts required for cat it's important to know that you know xat also gives you a little bit of a geometry and whichever exam aptitude exam gives you geometry knowing the fundamental concepts the basic concepts can give you uh, you know decent enough marks at a very very uh, short time in a very very short time let me explain this in a moment before we go into actually the concepts in arithmetic the, the you know arithmetic is a red herring why it's a reading and it's true and for algebra is a reading a red herring for all your engineers because when you read a question you feel ah oh, i can solve this when you see that question you feel you can solve it and when you start solving it you will never get the answer why because almost there is no formula in that almost there is no formula in that while of course uh, in some of the videos i talked about concepts in each of the sections each of the topics but you need to understand that you know it's almost the same concept being you, you know done in four five ways for example time speed and distance there is one concept and you are doing it in uh, you know the variations of that concept and hence the difficulty of the question is based on or becomes very um, dependent upon how the question is framed geometry does not have that geometry is something if you know for example there is something in uh, triangles if something on circumcenter is given i'm giving an example either you know circumcenter or you don't know circumcenter if something in parallelogram is given either you know parallelogram or you don't know parallelogram you know it's so easy to leave. if you know you put the formula you get your answer if you don't know you leave the question that is the why, that that is the reason why i would say i think it's a very very important Uh, uh, a topic if i may say so that you should prepare for cat let's look at some of the uh, most important concepts in that so the first thing is the broad areas in geometry angles triangles quadrilaterals polygons circles you have five different things angles there are not questions really but understanding angles will give you answers for the rest of them if you also look at what happened in cat 23 23 each of the slots again on an average three questions in cat 23 two to four questions in 22 three questions in 21 two to four questions in 20 six questions in 19 of course the number of questions were higher in cat 2019 but what what comes around here is very simple that hey geometry can give you nine marks six minimum nine marks and uh, trust me uh, 15 marks will get you the cut off 85 percent i'll cut off um, for even i am lucknow so one topic which does not require any great thought process except formulae and a little uh, uh, genuinely solving a few questions can get you there let's look at a little more detail into the subtopics in geometry first is angles and triangles what are there in angles you need to understand a what are parallel lines and transversal Uh, go back to your 9th and 10th classes probably take up your ncert books you don't even have to pick up any other funda books anywhere you need to just pick up your ncert and probably do this there are very easy questions that way or what are corresponding angles what are alternate angles what are vertically opposite angles the point i am trying to make here is for you to do questions and may not be questions come in directly in angles but all these 
concepts will be utilized in triangles and uh, 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 quadrilaterals specifically. When you look at triangles as an area, the most important triangle that you need to remember, understand and probably, you know, memorize, memorize, please mind, mind this word, is right angled triangles. The interesting thing about uh, the CAT exam, and again, if I look at 30 years, I'm not even looking at the five years, every year after year after year, when you look at the questions that come in CAT, you will see that right angle triangle, uh, if, if the sides are given, of course, if the angles are very clear, either it is 30, 60, 90, or it is 45, 45, 90. It's an isosceles right angle triangle or it's a 30, 60, 90 degrees right angle triangle. If it is angles. But if it is sides, you need to be very correct. You need to remember these triplets. Like 3, 4, 5 is a triangle. 5, 12, 13 is a triangle. 7, 24, 25 is a triangle. 8, 15, 17 is a triangle. 11, 60, 61 is a triangle and like this. You don't even know to know anything beyond what I have put it on the screen here for you. Because if there is a question in CAT and they are, you know, by visualizing it, you know that something is given 61 and you want to find out 61 is your hypotenuse, for example, and they are giving you a question where they are asking you the side of a triangle, by even visualizing it, you can so uh, you can you can answer that question as either 11 or 60. You can take that chance. Take these chances in your mocks that I'm telling you. You will find that it will be completely, completely correct. Right angle triangle. Then equilateral triangle. This is another thing which is coming, uh, understanding that, okay, root 3 by A, uh, root 3 by 4 a square is the area of the equilateral triangle will be very very important for you. Similarly in right angle triangle the area of right angle triangle is half uh, base into height is always going to be very very important too. Then isosceles triangle not really much too much have come in but if it has come in as an exam in an exam it is isosceles triangle isosceles right angle triangle like I said, I, uh, said it, uh, a little bit a uh, while back. And then the basic concepts of what's a circumcenter, what's an incenter, what's an orthocenter, what's a centroid. I am saying these each one is a concept, and that is the reason why this might take you a little more time than every other subject or topic in CAT, in, in quant for that matter. And one very, very if I were to call the theorem as such, is called the basic proportionality theorem. All these things, again, available in your NCRT books. Please go back to it. In fact, something very interesting, Careers 360 has come out with fur geometry. I'll tell you at the end of this video. Apart from angles and triangles, obviously we are talking about uh, quadrilaterals and polygons. Quadrilaterals, rectangles, squares, rhombus, parallelogram, and what are the areas of those things and how? E uh, what are the angles in each of those things you need to understand. Then, you need to understand what will happen if I join the midpoints of a quadrilateral. It forms a, a parallelogram. You know, a very small point, but a very interesting point because this one single idea has been used and utilized many number of times. A what is a cyclic quadrilateral within a, a circle? How a quadrilateral is there? It's called a cyclic quadrilateral. What is the importance of it? The opposite if, if the, the sum of the opposite angles in that is 180 degrees. So total is 360 degrees, of course, which you know that. Understanding this concept will help you. Then when you talk about polygons, polygons, there are a few points that you need to remember. The sum of internal angles of a polygon. This is a very interesting concept. N minus 2 into 180. Or external angle of a regular hexagon, 360 by N. Where N is the number of sides of the polygon. If there are 5 sides, it will be 360 by 5. If it is 6 sides, like a hexagon, 360 by 6 is 60 degrees, for example. You know, it's very, very easy for you to remember that. One area which is interesting, uh, one uh, uh, formula which is interesting again in polygons which has come in CAT many number of times is the number of diagonals. That is n into n minus 3 by 2. Again you can, those of you who are very good in permutations and combinations, you will be able to solve this very easily. It is nc2 minus n. There are n points in the uh, circle and nc2 is the number of lines you will have minus n, uh, uh, you know, the number of diagonals that you can remove kind of things. But again, n into n minus 3 by 2 is a simple way to remember this. Regular hexagon, 6 equilateral triangles, like I told you, 360 by 6 will give you 60 degrees in each of the triangles. All of them are same. 
the idea is if you understand these concepts and look at the solution and, and, and also solve some of the questions which come in the CAT papers or the mock CATs, like I told you in other videos and this one too, that Careers360 is coming out with uh, 20 free mocks for you. 20 free mocks for you. I think great. Then they're also uh, compiled 10 uh, uh, original CAT papers with answers for you in a PDF format. You can see it in the links and download them. I think, I think it's, it's, it's a fantastic way in which you can improve your uh, preparation methodology and probably get your marks well. And the last one is the circle. Subtopics in geometry where circle also is a very, very important part of your prep. Certain theorems, if you're good at it, I would like you to go through it. If you're not good at it, I would say maybe, just maybe, you may want to avoid it if you have very little time for this. If you already know it, I want you to revise it. Areas like alternate segment theorem, angles made in a semicircle, this point called, uh, this, this concept called angles made in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Angles made by the chord at any point on circle are equal or angles made by chord at the center would be twice uh, of the other side or, or of the angle made on the other side. Tangents and lengths of the tangles, an angle made by the tangent and radius is a right angle. You know, all these concepts which are there in your circles, basic NCRT books and of course any funda books that you can pick up will be very, very important for you. Last, the most interesting thing that Careers360 has come out with you is that they have compiled study material on geometry into a PDF, geometry and mensuration. You can download it for free. Click on the i button to get this link. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all the videos that we are doing for specifically for the CAT 2024. Many videos, strategy videos, mistakes to avoid, study plans and many more for uh, the CAT 2024 preparation from Careers360. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until the next video, wish you all the very best.